Hello everyone, it's uh, the last day of January, January 31st, we're, as I mentioned, launching into the season of nonviolence. Before we quite leave the topic that I uh, was discussing with you last time, I want to talk about that quote from Houston Smith, a very dear friend of ours, a uh, very effective religion scholar. He said some years ago, for our culture as a whole, nothing is going to happen until we figure out who we are talking about the fact that we have no agreed upon definition of human nature. And it reminded me of a quote from G.K. Chesterton. Someone said to Chesterton, isn't it terrible, G.K.C., people, uh, if people don't believe in God, they won't have anything to believe in. And he said, it's much worse than that. If they don't believe in God, they'll believe in anything. And that's kind of what's happened to us. We've taken up a belief in ourselves as a machine which is the point that I make with that scientific article that I talk about. And so I want to add a dimension to what we said last time. Last time I was talking about discovering our purpose in life and our capacity for nonviolence. When you stop to think about it, if we're machines, we have no capacity for violence or nonviolence. And so we are really limited in our ability to grasp what nonviolence is by the limitations on our image of who we are. So those two things are going to be building up simultaneously as we move through the book. In the next chapter, I start talking about some of the marvelous uh, episodes that have happened in the history of nonviolence, and we'll be adding to that things that uh, have happened since Search came out. And so that should be a, a much more upbeat and encouraging exercise, and all the more reason to, as Mahatma Gandhi would say, join the experiment. Thanks very much.